Today's activity is called No Such Thing as Bad Publicity. In today's class, we're going to spend uh, the entire hour and a half to two hours thinking about this idea of no such thing as bad publicity. The first part of today's class will be completing a Flipgrid video individually about this idea. Take a look at this first video. This first link actually shows an example of someone explaining a situation, maybe a famous person, someone in your life. In hey, what's case, going on, guys? I think he's speaking about someone that he found on YouTube. But he provides an example and maybe even an explanation of this idea of no such thing as, as bad publicity, how it applies maybe to this person. So think about a famous person that you know or maybe even a personal friend or someone in your family that you think this idea relates to and explain it. Uh, describe it and explain this idea of no such thing as bad publicity. Thing, something that seems negative, that maybe uh, uh, that on the face of it looks like a bad thing for the person, but actually maybe in turns turns into something positive, or it could turn into something positive or beneficial or advantageous for that person. All right, so the first part will be to create a Flipgrid uh, discussion. No more than one minute explaining your um, your your person's uh, idea or your person's situation in terms of this idea of no such thing as bad publicity. Again, look at this video as an example. The second piece will involve us working together in teams, combining this idea of no such thing as bad publicity, sharing our ideas, sharing our thoughts that we shared individually, but now with our teammates, and also combine this additional idea of all advantages have their price. Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within our control and others are not. So if we look at this idea of all publicity is good publicity, or there's no such thing as bad publicity, right? think about things that we can control, things we can't. Maybe even think of it in terms of the risk or rewards of that person, of the situation, and what, how much of it was in the person's control, how much of it was not. And think about how others earn rewards. Think of the following quote, is an unreasonable, it is unreasonable to think that we can earn rewards without being willing to pay their true price. So try to combine these ideas. Talk about in your group what these quotes mean how they might relate and link together with a person in your life or someone that you know or someone that you've seen in the news, maybe some situations that have come up that appear, again, negative at first, but maybe then later or even maybe in the long term could turn out to be a positive thing and come up with some group ideas around this person come come up with some examples as a as a team maybe two or three examples describe think about how you would describe this idea how you would explain it and again try to take into consideration these quotes that i'm sharing with you both on this page that i've uh that i've included here and uh the first example of trying to explain within 60 seconds the group activity is uh is more of a uh, sharing of ideas. Make sure that you record your class meeting. And at the end of the class, uh, I'm going to ask that each team choose a spokesperson to describe or summarize some of your, your thoughts that you described in your team meetings. And I'll also give you uh, in class appropriate times to complete each of the different aspects of today's activity.